What's up guys, Jose here from Yugatech and today we're checking out a very affordable smartphone that almost anyone can own, the 2022 Oppo A16. It retails for only 7,999 pesos and it already comes with a 6.52 inch screen, a MediaTek Helios G35 CPU, and a 5,000 milliamp battery. But how does the A16 compare to other models in the same price point? Join us as we do a hands-on with this budget-friendly Oppo smartphone. Let's start with the design. The A16 features a curved design unlike newer phones with boxy rounded edges similar to the current generation iPhone. Still, it feels nice and is easy to hold. The phone has a good weight to it too and is quite slim. This particular unit is in pearl blue color, which looks really nice and will definitely stand out. The back looks similar to most Oppo phones with the logo at the bottom. The only other noticeable design cue is the triple rear camera and its black surround. Flip it over and you're greeted by a 6.52 inch screen with a nice slim bezel. Top and center is a selfie camera integrated nicely into the surround. On the right side of the phone, you'll find the power and unlock button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. The volume controls are found on the left side together with a dual SIM card slot and micro SD card holder. There's nothing on top but at the bottom you have the USB-C port, 3.5mm audio jack, and a loudspeaker. Open up the 6.52 inch screen and you'll get nice colors from the HD Plus display. It's not the best given the 720x1600 resolution but for the price of the phone, it's not bad. You can also adjust the screen color temperature to cooler or warmer depending on your preference. Despite the nice looking display, the animation does slow down a bit when you're swiping left to right or tapping too much on the home screen despite having a 60Hz refresh rate. This also means games are limited, but we'll get to that later. The triple rear camera setup consists of a 13 megapixel main camera assisted by a 2 megapixel mono and 2 megapixel macro lenses. Despite having only 13 megapixels, the photos it takes are decent in well-lit environments. However, it does suffer under low light to no light conditions, so do take note of that when you're about to shoot photos. There are also various modes to choose from when taking photos. Pro mode allows you to adjust the ISO, white balance, AF, and more, which could improve the photo if you know what you're doing. Meanwhile, night mode does brighten up the photos, but it looks heavily filtered. As for videos, the Oppo A16 records at a maximum of 1080p at 30fps. It's decent for the price point, but there is no image stabilization. This means you will need steady hands to record nice videos. On the flip side, the front camera is an 8 megapixel unit, allowing users to take decent selfies. There's also an AI enhancing software that you can set to improve the selfie. Powering the Oppo A16 is a MediaTek Helios G35 CPU. This particular unit also comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB internal storage. While it can play the usual games such as Mobile Legends and COD Mobile with ease, the phone does lag a bit and slow down when playing more graphic intensive titles such as the new Diablo. It's also not the best experience since the screen is a bit slow to touch and response with the 60Hz refresh rate. If you do plan on playing games with the 2022 Oppo A16, better keep that in mind. But if that's something you can overlook, then it should be okay. The phone runs on Color OS 11.1, which is based on Android 11. Video playback is also decent, but the loudspeaker isn't the best. No earphones are included with the phone, so if you want better quality, you'll have to get a pair for yourself. If you're not too picky with audio quality though, the loudspeaker is more than enough for watching videos with friends. If you do plan on watching videos or playing games with the Oppo A16 often, there's no need to worry about the battery life. The phone comes with a long-lasting 5000 milliamp battery. According to our benchmark, the battery life will run for 12 hours and 15 minutes. Do take note that there is no fast charging system so it will take a bit longer to juice up. So there you have it, 2022 Oppo A16. We didn't expect it to be the best since it only retails for 7,999 pesos, which is very affordable. And if you want something even more budget friendly, Oppo offers the A16 with a 3GB plus 32GB variant, which costs only 6,999 pesos. Talk about affordable, right? So what do you think about the 2022 Oppo A16? 
Let us know what you think in the comment section below. While you're there, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more reviews and hands-on videos like this one. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and Twitter as well. Once again, this has been Jose from Yugatech and thank you for watching.